drives it into right center field, hit a ton. This baby is way back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. Today, we're talking about the Seattle Mariners. This is a team that has a very nice farm system. They got a lot of really good players that are almost big league ready, and I'll mention some of them today. And this is a team that just made a very interesting move. It is an extension for lefty Marco Gonzalez, probably their ace, their best starter, $30 million. And he led the American League in starts in 2019, had a 16 and 13 record with a 3.99 ERA, 4.15 FIP. This is a first round pick. And we're gonna be talking about a lot of first round picks in this video because the Mariners got a ton of them. But this was a first rounder in 2013 by the Cardinals. He's got good command, solid changeup. He's not totally overpowering, doesn't strike out a ton of guys, but he's definitely a decent pitcher, but he is pretty much their number one at the moment. So a nice signing there for the Mariners, extending Marco Gonzalez. Mariners fans gotta be happy about that move. And the Mariners are a team that I'm a little bit interested in. I'll be checking them out in April when I go visit Globe Life Park, the new Globe Life Park, the brand new stadium. I'll have a review on the stadium when I go check it out in April. And I'm going to one of those games where the Mariners are gonna be in Texas at that time. So I'm looking forward to that. And he'll be joining Yusei Kiguchi, the left-handed Japanese pitcher and his first year in the Major Leagues was in 2019. He had some great starts. He had a great shutout that I saw against the Blue Jays. But all in all, not the best season. Not overly impressive. 5.46 ERA, just 6.5 strikeouts per 9. But he's definitely going to be part of that rotation going forward anyway. Justice Sheffield is another guy who will probably get a spot in that rotation. And he's a guy who can strike out people. He only had 7 starts, but showed some great stuff. ERA not too impressive at 5.5, but... He's going to get a shot to show what he can do in 2020. And other than that, it's going to be a big competition. Youngsters like Justin Dunn, the Mets first round pick from 2016, who came over in the Edwin Diaz Robinson Cano trade. He had a nice season in double A. Kendall Graveman has got a shot at the rotation. This is a free agent signing, and he has not pitched a full season since 2016. He had major injury issues. Tommy John in 2018, he signed as a free agent last year with the Cubs, but never saw the field. So Kendall Graveman, he has got some work to do, but he has a chance to get in that rotation as well. And let us not forget the youngster, Logan Gilbert. This is one of their big prospects in the minor leagues. He is probably going to start the year in the minors, but this man dominated the minor leagues in 2019 between A-ball, high A, and double A. He had 26 starts, had a 2.13 ERA, 165 strikeouts in 135 innings, and he's got an invite to spring training. So we'll be seeing what he can do coming up here in a few weeks. So that's pretty much what the rotation is looking at. You got your youngsters like Justin Dunn, Logan Gilbert. They're going to be, you know, looked at very closely. I don't know if they'll be in that starting rotation to start the year or if they'll pick some veterans just to start out. You know, the Mariners are not a team that's trying to win anything in 2020. I don't think they're looking towards the future. So they're going to develop these guys properly. But at the same time, when they're big league ready, they're going to be in there. And that includes position players, too, that I'm about to talk about. But first, a quick side note as Alan Hansen, former Giant, has also signed with the Mariners as a free agent he'll be coming to spring training try to win a spot on that roster he actually had a pretty good year with the giants in 2018 but last year with the blue jays seven for 43 no home runs spent some of the year in the minors so this is a guy he's got a nice swing he's got some nice defense we'll see if he's got a shot to make the team with the mariners but a couple other guys that'll be in spring training that the mariners are going to look really closely at because they are part of their future and that's jared kelnick and julio rodriguez Kalnick smashed 23 bombs in 2019, 364 on base, 590 slugging. He was the sixth overall pick by the Mets in 2018. Yes, he also came over in the Robinson Cano deal. Look for him in spring training. Look for him in 2020. And Julio Rodriguez, J-Rod in high A with Modesto. He only hit 462. Unbelievable. Overall on the year in the minors, he had a great year. In 367 plate appearances, had a 326 average with 12 homers. That's a couple of guys that are going to be a part of the Mariners' future. Look for them in spring training. But the future stars aside, right now their lineup, not too hot, but you know what? It's okay. You got Malik Smith starting it off. He only hit 227 last year, 300 on base, six bombs. So 
Not so great offensively. He does have great defense in center. Shed Long is right now listed as the starter at second base over D. Gordon, who's going to get paid $13.8 million. But Gordon has only one year left on his contract. And Shed Long was looking pretty hot in September. He hit .289 with four homers and 89 at-bats to end the year. And you know, the Mariners are focused on long-term plans. They are not thinking about what can we do to win it all in 2020. That's just not the thought process with Seattle right now. It's you're going to give a chance to the guys that are big league ready. You got to give them a shot. Like Shed Long has got to have an extended opportunity in 2020. D. Gordon is not part of the long-term future for the Mariners. He will get an opportunity to start and play here and there if he's still on the team, which I assume he will be with that contract. But Shed Long is going to get the starting position at second base in 2020. Over at third, you know it's going to be Kyle Seeger. He had a big second half last year. He figures to hit at least 25 bombs in 2020. Tom Murphy at catcher. And he was in spring training with the Giants last year. Did not make the team. Giants did not give him the chance to be the backup catcher to Posey. So he goes over to the Mariners, hits 18 bombs in 260 at-bats. 273 average, 301 on base, 493 slugging. And Tom Murphy will likely be the catcher for the Mariners. Daniel Vogelbach, what a first half he had. Ended up hitting 30 bombs in 2019, made the all-star team, but really fell apart in the second half. His average tanked all the way down to 208 on the year, but he showed enough, I think, that he'll get definitely the opportunity to be the DH again in 2020. Kyle Lewis, another first round pick. He's going to get a shot in 2020, show what he can do. J.P. Crawford pretty much tears up minor league pitching. He needs to learn how to do it in the big leagues. He's going to get an opportunity. That's part of their future. Evan White, who has not had a big league at bat yet, has signed a six-year, $24 million deal with possible incentives that can get it up to $55 million. Elite defensive first baseman. He has got power, and he's going to get a shot to show what he can do in the big leagues in 2020, and hopefully Evan White works out for the Mariners because he is a big part of their plans. And last on the lineup at the moment, it looks like Jake Fraley, former Tampa Bay Rays prospect. He could be the starter. But don't forget about the guys I mentioned earlier. Obviously, Jared Kelnick, Julio Rodriguez are on the way, and Mitch Hanniger, who should be back soon. And that is a solid bat. Back in 2018, he hit 26 homers, 285 average, 366 on base, but he had terrible injuries. He had to have a sports hernia surgery. And if that sounds painful to you, you might not want to hear what ended his season, and that was a ruptured testicle. So best of luck, Mitch Hanniger. I'm really praying for you, buddy. As for the bullpen, they just signed Yoshihisa Hirano to kind of bolster that bullpen a little bit. Right now, Matt McGill is listed as their closer. Don't know if that's going to stick throughout the season. He looked really good last year towards the end of the year, closed out a few games, but really don't know. Carl Edwards Jr. is a familiar name in that bullpen, but all in all, the bullpen... It's just a wide open competition. I could go through every single name and look at their stats, but realistically, it doesn't really matter. It's all about what goes down in spring training. There's a bunch of non-roster invitees, a bunch of roster guys, just a huge competition. See who's going to be in that bullpen just to help the Mariners be as competitive as they can in 2020 while they're building that talent throughout the minors. They're looking at about 2022 before they really have an elite roster i don't want to say elite but a really good roster out there that they can go out and try to make a playoff push that's their plans that's what jerry depoto is trying to do with this team and with scott service coming back as a manager they're giving him the opportunity to continue to manage this team he is a really good manager and he knows what he's doing out there so the mariners team you want to watch out for in the next couple years as they continue to develop that system really like the mariners farm system as for their team once everybody's healthy and once some of these guys start getting big league ready Again, it's going to be a really good team to look out for. I look forward to seeing them play in April at Globe Life, at the new Globe Life Park in Arlington. Definitely can't wait to see it. I hope some of these youngsters I talked about will make the team out of spring training and will be there, and I'll be able to check them out and uh, check out this team overall. I'm really going to check out the stadium, but can't wait also to check out this team and the Texas Rangers, who I'll talk about in a future video. So what do you guys think of the Mariners? Are you a Mariners fan? Is it your first time here? If so, let me know. Hit the like button. Let me know you enjoy this video. I'll make more videos covering this team because the Mariners are a team that have a lot of great young players. A lot of fun to talk about. A lot of fun to watch them develop. Thanks again for checking out this video. Really do appreciate it. We will talk to you next time. See ya! When the Giants come to Bye.
Bye bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.